Alright folks, I'm going to do a short tutorial, and I will most I will be working on the actual other tutorials, but for now I'm going to do answer type tutorials. They're going to be short, well, answers to your questions. Like for instance, I am terrible ass, how do you, why doesn't the actual paint bucket work? Well you see, um, unfortunately you can only change shapes, pre-made shapes. In here like this and this and uh, stars polygons whatever else and change the inside of them you can't draw like for instance whatever this is and fill it up unfortunately you have to go about that another way and you can do it like this where you actually select all of this left to click and drag and then convert to symbol and then you can double click on it or you can double click here on symbol one to go inside it all right now you're inside and now you need to actually uh, make some wall paint for it so first you make another layer below well it make it above drag it down now you have layer which will have this lines the triangle itself and then you have layer one which we will rename paint now what you want to do is lock layer one which I will name lines and on the second layer you can actually start painting this in now there's a few ways you can do this. You can either use the brush tool and just slowly but surely just brush the inside. I'm using mouse right now, I'm not using my tablet. And there you go. And now the inside of it's painted or whatnot. Or you can actually do another method. Or you actually use some of the shapes, like let's see, a rectangle will do the job, I suppose. You drag that rectangle, and let me recolor it first to something a little lighter, maybe a greenish color. Okay, and then you can actually use the sub selection tool, which allows you to select the lines that's made out of. You see these green marks here. probably barely see them okay there we go and you see these lines that appear when you use the sub selection tool will allow you to change its shape like this and right now I'm just changing it to the shape of the lines so it just stays inside the lines coloring them so over here uses this line here and there we go we have it well pretty much Colored in, but let me check something. Let me turn off the line layer first. Okay, and it's off a bit. Move this over here. Okay. Now you have it completely colored in. Nice. Now that's the end of the tutorial for now, and I shall be uploading new ones very soon. And see you next time. Oh, I need to fix that.